Hey everyone, this is Jordan from JJ Cruise. We are on the stunning brand new Sun Princess and today we are walking you through deck by deck in a full ship tour. If you like cruising as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Let's go check out this amazing new ship. We are starting this tour of the Sun Princess on deck number 19 and this is where the Park 19 area of the ship is found. This houses a lot of different activities but the activities are mostly for families. The splash pad is up here, there is a ropes course up here, sports courts, and lots of areas for families to lounge and hang out. Now this is also where you're going to find the jogging and running track. So that will be up here on deck number 19. This area currently is closed, but it is going to be opening soon. The splash pad is there right in front of me, as you can see. There's a couple of dry slides up here, and then there is an overlook. So you can technically walk up an additional deck to deck number 20, where you would be able to kind of have an overlook, watch those kids play, or just hang out. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Palma de Mallorca. We are in 2024 right now, so the Sun Princess is a brand new ship. We're some of the first people on board and we're really happy to be here. To my left, that is really fun. That's kind of an overlook or overhang over the water. And then as we continue to walk, you can just get beautiful views here in Spain. Here's another area where you can sit and hang out. There's some hammocks up here. There is ping pong as well as some larger than life oversized games. And then you can get a view up here of the ropes course. This is a brand new area for Princess. Princess is notorious for being for more adults, but with the Sun Princess, they really have taken a big step towards more inclusivity in terms of the ages and the offerings that they're offering on this ship. We're gonna take a walk down these steps here and continue down to deck number 18. Before we step downstairs, I did just wanna showcase the track for the gliders. Again, this is a brand new innovation for Princess Cruises. The track does go all the way around deck 19 here. And this is really, really fun. Again, it's not open quite yet, but they're gonna be opening it up soon. We love to see new innovations like this on cruise ships. It's gonna be a lot of fun for the kids. We have come down to deck number 18. Now, as I go to my left here on these side of the stairs, directly in front of me is going to be the sanctuary and the signature retreat deck. Now, these areas are for signature suite guests or the sanctuary is a paid for area. So if you did want to buy a half day pass or a full day pass to this area, there's obviously a pool here, a beautiful hot tub, lots of plush premium loungers. There's also a bar up here and then you do have bathrooms tucked away up here as well. So it's a great way to spend a beautiful day like today. And that pool has been nice and quiet so far on our cruise here in the Mediterranean. As we continue to walk, on deck 18, you will see plenty of loungers here in front of me. So this may be a place to come if you are looking for a quieter spot. Obviously, there's not a lot of loud music back here. And these decks, before you get into the sanctuary, are included in your cruise fare, so you don't have to pay anything additional. There's another set of stairs that will take you up to deck number 19, where we just came from. And we're walking alongside the fitness studio area. So we are gonna just take a quick step inside here. This is the fitness studio or the gymnasium. They've got plenty of different pieces of workout equipment in here. They've got, of course, a place where you can lift weights. They've got bikes, um, they've got row machines. You can see running and jogging machines in front of me, and then you do have beautiful views that look over the Lido. So lots of places to come in here and work out if that is something that you do while you are on your cruise. We're gonna step here into the elevator bank. Now there's three different elevator banks 
on the Sun Princess. There is a forward elevator bank, midship, and aft. This is the midship elevator bank. One other thing that they do have housed up here is the photo studio. So it is kind of out of the way. You would miss it if you didn't realize that it was up here, but right off the midship elevator bank, you do have that photo studio as well as a wellness studio. And then that you've got some um, fitness classes that will also occur back there as well. So I know that there's several bikes back there and then there are fitness classes that you can pay for if you are someone that likes to come on board and take those classes. We've got the Lotus Salon up here. Now the spa is not located up here, but the salon is. So if you are someone that is looking to get your nails done or your hair done, there is of course a salon, a hair studio up here. These are for an additional charge, of course. But up here on deck 18, you can find all of those things. We're going to continue to walk outside to explore the rest of the outer decks. Now you've got some bathrooms up here as well. So you've got a men's and women's restrooms right off of the Lotus Salon. Again, plenty of places to sit and hang out up here. This is more of a quiet area of the Lido deck. As we get in here, you can start to hear the music kind of pumping, but you've got four hot tubs up here, which is great. So you've got four hot tubs in each corner of this kind of open area. You've got a great view of the Lido deck here. You can see those two pools and those two massive hot tubs down there as well. So the Sun Princess Lido decks definitely do not lack hot tubs. That is for sure, which is really nice, especially when you are in colder weather sailings. Where we are right now, it's been about 60 to 65 degrees, so those hot tubs have definitely been put to use this week. Plenty of more loungers up here as we walk over to the Sun Bar, and that is the bar, the main bar that is up here on deck number 18. This is also where you will find a smoking area. So if you are someone that is a smoker, up here right off of the Sun Bar, will be a spot that you will probably hang out at. So this is the sun bar right here. Lots of lovely cocktails that you can find. And then we're gonna take the corridor right over here. You see a towel station on my left. One of the things that we do love about Princess is that you don't have to check towels in and out. You can, of course, just take them at your leisure. There will be a women's and men's restroom up here as well. So we're walking past those. We're gonna go right inside here, which is gonna lead us to the upper level of the dome. The dome is another brand new area for Princess. This is part entertainment, part relaxation, and it is absolutely stunning. Floor to ceiling glass, throughout. You see down there, there is a pool that is partly indoor, partly outdoor. So actually there is a front area down there to the dome, but there's live performances that will happen in here, live music. And then eventually this will become kind of like a South Beach nightclub. So tons of places to sit in here. But this dome is absolute perfection and stunningly beautiful. We have come down one deck and we are on deck number 17. This is the forward bank of elevators. You see stairs right in front of me that will take you up to deck number 18 or down to 16. We're gonna walk through this corridor, which is another entrance to get into that dome area. So like I said, there's entrances into the dome on 18 and on 17. There are bathrooms right here to my right. Now these bathrooms do have an outdoor entrance as well. So you actually don't have to come inside if you are hanging out on the Lido deck. And we're gonna get out to see those decks there in a second. But right through these doors, I did wanna point out the Cascade Bar. This bar is obviously closed right now, but it is one of the most unique bars on the Sun Princess. Now there's been over 200 new cocktails crafted specifically for this ship. And this is one of the bars that has a very unique concept. All of the drinks have a water base. So for example, coconut water is used a lot up here. And they do that because water is kind of the theme of the dome. So you can see this beautiful, beautiful structure 
that looks like water here in front of us. And then of course, this is the deck 17 entrance into the dome. So you can get into the dome right through there. But we are gonna take a walk outside so you can see in front of the dome because that's a whole other area that is breathtakingly beautiful. We'll walk out these doors here. To my right, you do see another towel station. There are plenty of towel stations spread throughout the Lido, so you never have to walk too far to get a towel. And we are walking into the very front section of the ship. So this is another area that it's really quiet, very serene. It's included for all guests, which is really nice. You see a hot tub there directly in front of me. And then loungers that wrap all the way around to the front. Now I had said when we were in the dome on deck 18, there is a pool that is partially inside, partially outside. Here is the outdoor area of that pool that you can see. And then here we do have the Sea View Bar. So this is another one of the bars here on the Sun Princess. If you don't ever get up here, you could possibly miss this bar. So this is another wonderful bar. And then you can see this deck does stretch down to deck number 16. So you've got tons of loungers down there. This area is partially covered and partially open as you can kind of see the glass, glass parishions right there. They do have um, this area accessible to those in wheelchairs as well. So that is a ramp down there that can get you up here. But you see the pops of blue throughout up here. It is a really, really beautiful area. You've got another couple of bathrooms down there as well. It's just nice and serene. There's a second hot tub. So there's two hot tubs up here as well as an entrance to get into the dome. So you've got the pool, of course and then the entrance to the dome right there. You also have some nice, comfortable couches up here, again, with some fun pops of blue. There's some nice colors up here. We will continue to walk into the main section of the Lido deck. And one of my favorite parts of the Lido deck is the food up here and there is plenty. We've already gotten to try some of the food up here, but there's so many different options that are poolside, which is great. It makes for ease of access of not having to get fully dressed. If you are hungry or needing lunch, you never really have to leave the Lido, which is one of my favorite things about this deck. You see a lot of different tables and chairs on my right. And to my left, this is Lido Slice. So this is the included pizza in your cruise fare. We have tried the pizza up there. It is very, very good. And as we wrap around, you also have Lido Tacos. So there's a taco place and a pizza place. You can see again, lots of places to sit and eat. And we'll give you a quick view here. Again, there is two pools as well as two large hot tubs. You've got some loungers that are in the water there. It really is a beautiful pool deck. And then of course, you do see that giant screen there for movies under the stars. Princess is notorious for doing that. And that does happen up here on the Lido deck. You've got stairs that will take you up to deck number 18. And then another really important food place is going to be the Lido grill. So this is gonna be the place where you can get those hamburgers, hot dogs, French fries, which is really great. And then Lido Greens is going to be your more healthy option up here. So you've got salad, fruits as well. And then you do have the Lido Bar. So this is where you can pick up a tasty beverage while you are here on the Lido deck. We'll continue to walk in this direction like I said, it is a little bit of a cooler day today, so you're not gonna see a lot of people out here on the pool deck, but the sun is shining, and so in the sun, it does feel really great. Again, plenty of loungers, lots of floor to ceiling glass. This ship does have more glass than I think I've seen on almost any other ship, and they do that specifically so that people can see Incredible views. Wherever this ship ends up going, whether it be the Caribbean, Alaska, the Mediterranean, Norway, 
you've got incredible views all throughout the ship that are really, really stunning. Up here, you do have the mix cocktail bar. So there's bars on either side of the pool, which is really great. The mix is another place where you can come and get a great cocktail. The bartenders on the Sun Princess are fantastic. We've already gotten to try a number of drinks. We've really, really enjoyed all the new cocktail menus. One additional area that is up here is coffee and cones. This is the place where you can come and get those premium desserts. So if you have a princess package that has premium desserts, you can grab those right here, as well as of course getting coffee. Now the one other venue other than staterooms that are up here is Love by Brito. Love by Brito is currently not open, but it is all the way towards the back of deck number 17. So through the doors here in front of me, you're gonna have an elevator bank, tons of staterooms, and then that restaurant all the way at the back. We look forward to that restaurant opening soon, but for, for now, we're gonna hop on down to the other decks. Decks 10 through 16 are primarily stateroom decks, but at the back of decks 15 and 16, you do have a lounge that is exclusively for the signature suites. The lounge is beautiful and has floor to ceiling glass. Let's go check out the rest of the ship. We have moved down to deck number nine. We are in the Piazza, which is really the heart of the ship, more in the mid-ship area. Up here on deck number nine, right off the Piazza, is Go Princess. You'll see this area with a lot of different tablets. This is their shore excursions area. So if you're gonna book those on land adventures, you can do that when they're open here on deck number nine. You can also view pictures that you've gotten taken while you're on the ship. Something that is really, really well loved on the princess brand is alfredo's pizzeria so you can see that directly here in front of me right off the piazza this is now a paid for restaurant in 2024 so if you are wanting to go here and get pizza that is an additional charge there is now seating in the piazza which this is definitely new for sun princess but all the way around you do have this bench style seating or you've got kind of chairs with little tables and it overlooks all of the entertainment and the beautiful screen here on decks seven, eight, and nine. So it's really cool. They do a lot of different activities and game shows here in the Piazza. You can come up here, grab a drink, and have a seat. As we continue to walk in the circle of the Piazza, you do have International Cafe. International Cafe is the spot that is open 24 seven. So you've got complimentary food here. There's small sandwiches, small desserts, as well as a full bar. And again, this is open 24 hours a day. So if you do have midnight snack or you get hungry in the middle of the night, you can come down here for some food. You also have a full coffee bar as well. So you can get that there. This area is of course going to be their future cruise area or that area where you can book your next princess cruise. Now this area does have one thing that we just wanted to highlight here in the tour that I think is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. This is the globe and you can tap this and you can actually explore where princess ships are. You can look at itineraries, you can kind of scroll, everything is a touch screen. And the coolest thing here is they have a feature called the passport where you can tap your medallion and you can see all of the cruises that you've taken with princess. This is definitely innovation like we've never seen before on a cruise ship. And we really, really think that it is cool. You've got some additional small tables and chairs up here. We can sit and look down into the piazza, whether there's live music or an event or activity going on. It's a great place to just catch a drink and look down there. And we are now gonna to walk towards the eatery. The eatery is, of course, the buffet on Princess Cruises. So this is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you have a number of different options here in the eatery. The eatery does go on both sides. So you've got places to sit and eat as well as buffet options on this side. And then if you were to walk through that corridor there with those elevators, this would mirror exactly what you're gonna see here. So again, plenty of different options for food. Something that's a little bit different on this ship that we haven't seen, well, in a while, is a served buffet. So you do have the crew actually serving you the food instead of it being kind of an open buffet where you're going and getting yourself. I personally do really like this just because this does automatically remove uh, a, a germ 
situation that could happen on a buffet. So that is actually really nice. You can see the entire buffet is actually set up for that. So the wonderful crew will serve you your food behind the enclosed glass banks. While we continue to walk back here, there are a couple of additional restaurant options. I do want to point out to the left, you do have alfresco dining as well. There are also additional food options out there on those decks. So they technically call them the promenade decks, um, but there are some additional food options out there. So it's great. If you want to eat outside, you do have that option right outside the eatery. You can even grab a couple additional bites to eat out there as well. Back here past the eatery, you are going to have two different specialty restaurants. So on the left, you're going to have the Catch by Rudy. The Catch by Rudy is going to be the seafood inspired restaurant. Again, these are specialty restaurants or paid for restaurants. And on my right, you do have the Butcher Block by Dario. We'll just do a quick walk through these. As you can see back here, they do look pretty casual. But you do have, again, beautiful floor to ceiling glass. So these are set up for dinner service. So again, the catch, seafood on this side. And then as we walk directly across, you're gonna have the butcher block. And the butcher block is going to be for the meat eaters or the carnivores <laughs> that come on the Sun Princess. Lots of different meat options here for those looking for that. There are additional seating options out here on the outer deck of deck number nine. We're gonna take a quick step out there because the views out here are just so beautiful. So as you can see, you got some additional seating out here and then you do have additional seating on the other side that overlook the incredible wake as well as this beautiful area on deck eight that is very easy to miss. We're gonna actually head down there right now. We're gonna take the steps to check that out. But down here on deck number eight, you do have a beautiful wake view pool as well as two smaller hot tubs. So you can see that there. And you also have an additional bar back here. This has been pretty quiet the last couple of days because I just don't think that people have found it. And that is one of the cool things about Sun Princess is there are areas that you can really get away, I think, from people. And if you just kind of want to get lost, that can definitely happen on the ship. Get lost with a purpose, of course, to just get some peace and quiet and relaxation. As we step up here, you do see these very small hot tubs that can fit probably two to three people, as well as this gorgeous, gorgeous infinity pool that sits at the back of the ship. It's such a beautiful day here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day to look out over the ocean. I did want to point out that you do have a lift over there as well. So if you are someone that needs to utilize that, there is accessible options down here on deck number eight. And then this is another bar that sits all the way back here with additional new cocktails. You're going to find new cocktails everywhere around the Sun Princess. And this is the Wake View Bar. So additional seating options kind of stretch around the back here. You have, of course, another set of stairs there in front of me that will take you back up to deck number nine. But we're gonna keep going inside to check out the main dining room area. There is a way to get down to the pool without having to walk through the restaurants. And that is the elevator banks that are right here as well as on the other side. Something that is so cool about these elevator banks is they will take you all the way up to deck number 18 and they are glass elevators. So it's glass elevators that set at the very back of the ship that will, again, give you incredible views as you go up. So it's honestly worth just coming back here to take the elevators, even if you don't ever get into the pool. The Horizons dining room is what we've just stepped into. Now the Horizons dining room does span deck six, seven, and eight, and they all have a different purpose. We actually love the concept of what Princess has done here. Deck number eight where we are now is called Americana. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner all day long. So if you're a breakfast for dinner person, this will be the dining room that you can come and have that in. This area is also a little bit more casual, which is really nice. You have a full bar in here, but you can walk in anytime that you want and grab those breakfast, lunch, and dinner options, which we think is really, really quite cool. 
We haven't actually seen that on any other cruise ship before. The dress in this particular level of the dining room is also a little bit less formal. So again, Horizons dining room, and this is technically Americana. As we walk through the corridor to get into the dining room, you do have bathrooms out here, so both men's, women's, as well as an accessible restroom. And now we are walking into an area that is mostly shops, but there is one of the specialty restaurants here to my left. To my right, you've got some watches. This area actually is gonna be where you can purchase those items. And th then to my left is Sabatini's. Sabatini's is a tried and true classic for Princess Cruises. It is the Italian restaurant here on board. And again, it is a specialty restaurant. So if you are interested in trying this or having some Italian food, you're gonna find that here on deck number eight. As we walk past the watch shops, we are gonna walk into another corridor of additional shops. So lots of shopping, but the shopping is gonna actually take place on decks seven and eight. So this is the upper level of the shops. Right here, you do see you have kind of your beauty shop. So of course, skincare, colognes, beauty products, makeup will be right here, found on deck number eight. And right next to that is going to be Diamonds International. So Diamonds International will be, of course, the jewelry shop on board. It's kind of the, the main jewelry shop up here. Lots of beautiful, stunning diamonds and jewelry. They have Crown of Light products up here as well, which are always very, very beautiful. Now we are gonna take a step into the piazza but we're just going to take hang a, a left here really quick walk past another set of bathrooms these are the midship elevators but on the other side of the elevators here i did just want to show umai this is teppanyaki as well as the hot pot restaurant is back here so it is closed right now but through these doors is where you'll be able to experience that this is another specialty or paid for restaurant and we've heard it's quite good from different guests on the ship. So if you're a teppanyaki fan, here on deck eight is where you're gonna find that. We are now going to step back into the Princess Piazza. You'll notice in front of me additional seating. Like I said, there's seating on every level to kind of look down, which is really incredible. To my right, you will have another dining venue. This is a sushi restaurant. Now, Another important venue right by the sushi restaurant is going to be Ocean Now. So this little area, it is closed right now, but this is where you'll come if you are having Wi-Fi issues down here on deck eight. So don't forget that, because there's a lot of high tech on this ship. And so if you ever have any problems, you'll come down here to deck eight to get that help. Kai Sushi is directly in front of me. You do kind of see this sitting right next to the beautiful glass windows. I told you there's lots of glass throughout the ship, but if you are a sushi lover, this is where you're gonna come to have that meal. It is a preset menu for a cost. So again, a specialty restaurant option when you're here on the Sun Princess. You've got stairs that wrap around the piazza so that will take you down, of course, to deck number seven or up to deck number nine. But as we continue to walk around, we are stepping into Crooners. Crooners is an incredible bar on board with tons of craft cocktails this actually is one of my personal favorite bars on the ship. The drinks are incredible. If you like an old fashioned or a play on an old fashioned or a Manhattan, this will be the place to come and check that out. The vibes in here are just so cool. You've got the dark wood and the browns. It's very, very classic. It kind of feels like you're taken back to that time of Frank Sinatra. There's a piano in here as well, so you could have some live music as you sit up here and sip on those classy or smoky cocktails. And this lounge does kind of run the whole way here around Princess Piazza. So you'll see lots of couches, tables, chairs, all with those dark browns and blues. We really love this area. One other venue that is tucked away up here that is meant to be hidden is Spellbound. Now you'll see there's a rope in front of this black door that is just kind of cut out of the wall here. But Spellbound is a paid for experience part magic show, part meal, part drink mixology experience. It is supposed to be one of the coolest and newest innovations that Princess has ever seen. We will hopefully be trying this later this week and there will be 
a lot of information coming from our channel. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button now to find out everything you need to know about that Spellbound experience. Directly off the piazza, you do have the Princess Casino. We actually really like this casino because it's so bright. You'll see all the way around the top of the gaming systems, you've got screens, which we think is really, really cool. Something that we love about that is that it makes this area really bright and airy. This is one of the brightest, I think, casinos we have ever seen. This is also the largest casino that Princess has ever put on a ship. So you've got a lot of different games, lots of new games. You can see in front of me plenty of different tables. Some of the tables even have a $5 minimum, which I feel like we have not seen on a cruise ship in a couple of years. So we think that Princess has done a phenomenal job with this casino. It is a smoking casino, so part of it you know, is a place where if you're a smoker, you can come down and smoke. But I'm just gonna give you a quick look here at some of the games. And again, it is quite large, and you're gonna have a lot of brand new games for 2024. So if you're a slot player or someone that likes the tables, this will be the area for you. You also have a coin pusher there. I know a few people in my life that love a coin pusher. And directly behind there, you do have the cashier. I think this corridor is one of the most stunning on the Sun Princess because it it's, does go up two decks. It does give that resort feel, especially as you're walking into the casino. It kind of makes you feel like you are in Las Vegas. It's really, really beautiful. And the colors, you know, the really bright and light colors in here make it absolutely gorgeous. There are going to be men's and women's restrooms right outside of the casino before we get into the Princess Arena. The Princess Arena is Princess's brand newly designed concept for their theater. What is so amazing about this space is it can transform into three different sets of stages or seats. The Princess Arena is now open. We were in there last night, and as you can see, the seating is really, really cool. It's kind of stadium seating. There was a magic show in there last night. We can't wait for Princess to get their production shows up and running because we think that this area is just going to be stunning. We have come down to deck number seven. Now, deck number seven does have another entrance into the Princess Arena, but there are two very important venues that sit on either side of the Princess Arena. Directly in front of me is the Neon Grove Tween area. That's for the eight to 12 year olds. They get their own area that is kind of this loungy area. It's really, really cool. Lots of fun, different colors. And there's a ton of different activities that go in here. Directly across from it on the other side of the entrance to the Princess Arena is going to be the underground teen club or teen lounge. That is for ages 13 to 17. And again, another really fun, cool, kind of funky looking area. They've got activities down here and then they also do have activities up on the upper decks. We heard from the leaders of the teen club that they actually do mixology events as well as hot tub parties which sounds like a blast. If I was a teenager coming on the Sun Princess, I'd be so excited for those activities or those parties as well. Coming out of the Princess Arena, you do have Good Spirits. Now, Good Spirits is not brand new to the Princess fleet, but this concept is brand new and we love it. This is a bar area, but it is also kind of a mixology show. What happens in here every single night is you come in, you order drinks, and then a bartender goes up to the front area, gives you information about where that cocktail came from and teaches you how to make it. It is such a cool concept. It is, of course, you gotta pay for the drink, but it is a, a free show that you can go. If you're interested in cocktails or learning how to make cocktails, there are shows there every single night. And we think that that is, it's just awesome. We are now here in the forward bank of elevators on deck number seven. And we're gonna start to walk this deck because there is plenty to see. Deck number seven is one of the most packed decks with different food venues, bars, and entertainment and activities. The first thing that we do see here is the Crown Grill. This is of course a standard restaurant on a lot of Princess cruise ships. It's kind of like your steakhouse and they do have it housed here on deck number seven. <coughs> There's a beautiful, beautiful restaurant inside. We're really looking forward to trying this, uh, this restaurant here on the Sun Princess. If that's one of your favorites, let us know in the comments. Directly across from that grill is going to be Princess Live. Princess Live is of course Again, not new to the fleet, but this is an area that will have a lot of different activities, 
game shows. Uh, there was a comedian in here last night. And then you do have a bar that sets here in Princess Live. The gelateria is here in this hallway or this corridor. This is technically a paid for or casual dining experience. Now on Princess, you do have casual dining and then premier dining. Casual dining venues include Alfredo's, O'Malley's, and the gelateria. Every other specialty dining restaurant that you see in this tour is going to be the premier dining. It's definitely important to know what is what, especially if you have Princess Plus or Princess Premier. This is O'Malley's Pub. O'Malley's is one of the most popular venues here on the ship. This is the Irish Pub. So as you can see, this bar is closed right now, but this is an area where they serve food. Again, it's a casual dining eatery and an area where you're going to find a lot of live music every single night. This is one of the most popular venues on the ship. We've seen it kind of fill up every evening that we've been here. So if you are someone that likes a, an Irish pub and enjoys that music, get here early, grab a seat, because it is a great venue here on the ship. We're now walking into the Princess Piazza. This is the final level. So we've been up on decks eight and nine. This is now kind of the ground level for the Princess Piazza. As we round the corner here, right in front of me is going to be Bellini's Cocktail Bar. This is another beautiful bar with more floor to ceiling glass. There's so much glass in this Princess uh, Piazza. It's just absolutely stunningly beautiful. I'm gonna give you a quick ground level view of the piazza here. So of course down here is where all those activities and events will take place. Those giant screens do actually move, which is really nice so they can split apart. You see a lot of different uh, ways that they use the screen for innovation. One thing to know, if you're looking at the screen, that means you are, if you're looking at it and walking past it, you are walking forward. So look to the screen to show you where the front of the ship is. That means we're walking towards the back of the ship. The signature restaurant is right here in front of me. This is the restaurant that is going to be for the signature suites. So if you are in a signature suite, this will be the restaurant for you, kind of your specialty dining area. And just peek in there really quick. And we're gonna continue to walk around here. So there's another important venue on deck number seven. There's stairs right there in front of me that will take you up to deck number eight. And the last venue that you find kind of right here, right off of the circular piazza is going to be Coffee Currents. Coffee Currents is your coffee shop on board, but this is where they make incredible coffee cocktails. If you are someone that loves coffee with a little bit of Kahlua or Bailey's, this is gonna be the place where you can come. They also have included food here as well. The food here is really good. They typically serve some pastries. So things like donuts, coffee cake. Looks like they've got some blueberry muffins there today. So it's a great place to come down and grab a little snack. And again, this coffee shop is kind of tucked away and not everyone knows exactly that it's here. So it is a great place to come and, and grab a bite to eat. You see bathrooms, men's, women's, and accessible restrooms right off of the coffee shop here, kind of tucked underneath the stairs. And now we're walking back into the princess shops. So remember I had said the princess shops kind of span deck seven and eight. These are the deck seven shops. Deck eight is gonna be more of your specialty things like jewelry, watches, and makeup. Deck number seven, you're gonna find a lot of your princess merch. So if you are coming on the ship soon, you can get, of course, some inaugural season merch, which is very popular. And then they do have kind of their boutique stores down here. So boutique clothing that you can purchase, bags as well. They do sell re-loved bags. So of course, bags that have kind of been pre-used and have gone in and gotten fixed up and they look brand new. You've got additional shops here, you've got some additional jewelry shops, and then you will have your liquor shop. So of course, where you can buy your liquor, your cigarettes, as well as snacks. They've got actually more snacks and candy and chocolates on this ship than I think I've seen on other ships. And then you do have a whole section for sunglasses. We are now walking out of the Princess Shops area and directly in front of me is going to be the wheelhouse. This is another bar here on the Sun Princess. And this is a bar where they do have some of the meetups. So like the LGBTQ meetup was here. 
the last couple of nights. And again, another place that they have great, great drinks. Directly across from the wheelhouse is the Reserve Collection. This is going to be the restaurant that you, if, if you do have the Reserve perks, so if you're in like a Reserve mini suite, for example, this will be the restaurant that you can dine in. Those that are in signature suites can also dine in here, but we did see, of course, they do have their own restaurant. We walked past that in the piazza. Additional bathrooms to my left, but we're going to take a right into the aft bank of elevators. And this is going to be, again, Horizon's dining room. Now here on deck seven, this is kind of any time or my time dining. Um, this is where you can come and just kind of show up for dinner. So if you are someone that doesn't like to have traditional set dining, this will be the dining room that you can come and dine in. These dining rooms are very, very beautiful. And again, they span three decks and all the way at the back of the dining room, you do have additional floor to ceiling glass. You can see kind of the rich, warm caramel and brown colors in here. It's very, very classy. I don't think that it feels overly formal, but it does feel high end and very nice. So that was deck number seven. We are now down here on deck number six. Now, we were on the deck seven Horizons deck, the main dining room. There is a main dining room right underneath deck seven, and that is traditional dining. So if you're gonna have dinner, like early dinner or late dinner at the same time every night, you will go there on deck number six. However, you cannot walk through to midship deck six where I'm standing right now. You have to go back up at the very aft section of deck number six, walk across on deck seven, and then come down to deck number six here on the midship. And this is where the spa is. So of course we saw the salon on the upper decks, but this is the spa. So this is where you can get things like massages done. And then they do have the beautiful enclave down here, which is the thermal spa area. Now you can purchase a pass to go there all week, but as you can see, this is one of the most beautiful areas in the ship. They have a gorgeous therapy pool. They have a number of different uh, healing rooms. They've got a sauna, a steam room, and then these gorgeous, gorgeous uh, hot beds that you can lay down on. They're perfect if you have a bad back or if you're just looking for a place to relax. We popped on over to the forward section of deck number six. Now, to my right, you are going to see kind of a line coming out of a corridor. That's where guest services is. So guest services is located down here in deck number six. But right in front of me, I want to focus on Firefly Park. This is for ages zero to six. Now, if you do have a little one that's zero to two, they do have to be accompanied by an adult in this area. Um, but then ages three to six, you can drop the kids off here. As you can see, there's a nice playroom here where you can come um, and let the kids be with the princess crew. It is nice, bright. You've got, of course, some uh, playhouses here as well for the kids to kind of climb on and crawl around as well as a movie screen. So lots for the little ones to do here down on deck number six while mom and dad enjoy a day away on the Sun Princess. Well, that was the tour. Thank you so much for watching. Now tell me what you think. Do you think that this ship is beautiful? Is this a ship that you want to sail on? I invite you to leave a comment below and let's start a healthy discussion over the thoughts and first impressions of the all brand new Sun Princess. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jordan. Until next time, see ya.